Hi, I'm Cindy Santa Anna, Integrative Nutritionist for the Amen Clinics and your Wellness Wednesday host. Today I'm going to give you some tips on how to conquer your sugar cravings. More and more today, our diet is filled with simple carbohydrates and sugars that are leading to inflammation and disease. We're eating a little bit too much bread, cereal, pasta, cookies, crackers, bagels, muffin, croissants, donuts, and rice, and highly packaged processed foods that are causing blood sugar spikes. And these repeated spikes left unchecked can lead to insulin resistance, weight gain, prediabetes, and type 2 diabetes if left unchecked. So I'm going to give you some tips on how to conquer those sugar cravings so you can eat healthy. So the first tip is to make sure that each meal that you eat, when we look at it, contains a protein. It can be animal proteins or plant-based proteins. But lean animal protein or fish, fiber from vegetables, and a healthy fat. Making sure that your meal contains a healthy fat like nuts, seeds, nut butters, olive oil, olives, avocado, or fatty fish can help keep your blood sugar stable for hours. The next is to eliminate those low-fat and fat-free foods because they, when they remove the fat, they're adding in a bunch of sugar and that can, can keep us on that roller coaster of highs and lows. And then separate your emotions from food. Oftentimes when we have a craving or we're feeling low or depressed or even just too tired, we reach for those sugary foods. So find other options to fill that void. Um, I like to sit down with a nice cup of herbal tea in the afternoons. And then make sure you drink lots of water because sometimes sugar cravings can be just a simply sign of dehydration. Make sure that you're physically active throughout the day. Taking a 10 minute walk after a meal is a great way to bring down glucose from food that you've just eaten. But a great workout, some weight training or yoga can also be good too. And then make sure you're getting enough sleep, rest and relaxation. One night of disturbed sleep can increase ghrelin, our hunger hormone, the next day. So making sure that you're getting good solid sleep can keep those hunger hormones in check. And then lastly, if you need help and support, don't go at it alone. Um, seek practitioners like myself to can help you help set you up on some meal plans or give you some recipe ideas to help stop and get you off that hamster wheel of needing sugar crashing <laughs> on the ups and downs. So um, I'd be happy to help you at the Amen Clinics. Take care.